In this screencast, I'll show you how to use the Excel unit operation in Pro 2 to link with calculations in Excel. So if we click on the Excel unit, click Data Entry, click Edit on the spreadsheet, and we see that we've already got values populated in here. This video actually follows on from the, the a previous screencast that showed you how to set up the basics of this. We can now start to link this to other sheets that have calculations inside them to work out a uh, Fisher Trops reaction. So, to start with, we need to link the inlet flow rates with the flow rates provided to us by Pro2. So, we just link those cells accordingly, and we can also link other cells and flow rates. Uh, we've got the flow rate here of water. We'll click back here for the inlet flow rate. So that is now all updated. We've got the right values going into our Fisher Trops calculations. This then does lots of complicated calculations that have already all been set up to work out the distribution of alkane products, different paraffins that are created through the Fisher Trops reaction. The second spreadsheet then does some checking and makes sure that the overall conversion that we're, we are after is achieved, both on a carbon monoxide and hydrogen basis. And then we get some outlet flow rates here in these cells and also down here. So we can then link this back to our sheet here. So instead of the carbon monoxide flow rate just simply equaling that of the inlet, we're now going to map it onto our calculations here. Same for the hydrogen. I'm going to link that over to here. Carbon dioxide, let's link that there. And then also the water. Water gets generated by the Fisher Trucks reaction. We'll click OK to that one there. Now we have all these different. Uh, alkanes from C1 to C30 and for these if there was any inlet components that's fine we need to add those on and then we add on anything generated by the reaction which is from this cell here click OK and that has now got a value in it and we can simply copy this down and then we now have what's been created from the FT reaction. We can then click save on here, close the spreadsheet, click OK on the Excel unit. We then reset the simulation by pressing Control R and then we can run it again. And now when we go to the data review window for the outlet stream we can see that the K moles per hour have gone down due to the stoichiometry of this reaction. The temperature and the pressure are the same as those specified for the inlet stream. And when we go to the material balance we can see that we have a change in the values. So we have water generated, we have methane and other components generated here click close and overall this is how you can link the Excel unit operation to some calculations in Excel.